Hello everyone and welcome. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can set up your photography catalog, import and export photos, and on one Photo Raw 2019. So let's hop in here and get started. Okay, the first thing we need to do is actually set up our photography catalog. This will be the main folder that has all our image files and stuff in it. Now it's important we set this up first because a lot of your uh, functionality in your albums over here, uh, you won't be able to access that. Like captured uh, recently, that won't be able to function until you've actually set up your catalog folder for it to be, be able to monitor it and see what photos you've actually uh, entered into this, uh, imported in. Okay, now you've already seen that catalog folders, mine's already listed here. Now, I actually had to set this up myself, but default you will not see this. Now the set it up is actually really easy. You go to file, then you go to add catalog to folder. You click on that. And what you want to do is you want to go through here and find your catalog folder. If you actually use your pictures folder or whatever, you just click on it and hit select folder. Now, once you uh, click on select folder, it will import all your uh, files and stuff in. Now be warned, this could take a few minutes. This could take a few hours. It highly depends on how fast your computer is and how many uh, photos you have in those uh, folders. So if you don't have but a few, it won't take too long. But if you have 20 or 30, 40,000, it might take a couple of hours, depending on the speed of your computer. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel, but you should go ahead and click uh, select folder if that's the folder you want to use. And once you've done that, yours will show up here under cataloged folders. Okay, everyone. Now I'd like to show you how you can import your files and stuff. Now, if you see right here, I've already got drive letter F. It's listed EOS digital. This is my SD card for my camera. You want to have that inserted and click on file, then import. And once you've got that inserted, you can choose the files that you want or don't want by clicking the check marks. I want them all. Now over here in our destination, we can choose where we want to put the, put this. So let me choose one here. Let's see here, I'm in my files, Joe Jackson Studios. I can actually uh, collect, you know, select any folder that I want here. Let's just say, let's just put this in travel, Philippines. And let's click a new folder. New folder. Let's choose that as 2018. Okay, and let's select folder. Now I can choose to rename this if I like. Add meta, uh, metadata if I like to. Even photo settings. Or we can edit the capture date. Now I'm actually going to just import these in, but you have a, quite a few options here. You can even back up to another folder if you like to. And you organize those however you like. I'm just going to go ahead and click import. Okay, wonderful. Now we've got our files already imported in. So now I can show you how to export these. You can choose these individually or you can select them by groups. Okay, you have two options to export. You go file, export, or we can click on the export button right here and choose all these again and click export. Now, once we're in the export option, we have a few options how we can uh, export these. We can set the photo size. For example, here I got on the uh, custom length, the pixels here on the long edge is 1920. Okay, the resolution 300 uh, pixels per inch. And the image type is on one uh, general uh, resize. Now I do have a few other options here you can use. You want high detail, landscape portraits, that's totally up to you. You can set these up as you want. We have also watermarks. So we can choose to set a watermark inside there. And by clicking the little dot here, you can turn that on or off. You can choose by logos. You know, you choose your logos, whatever, and set those in. And hide that one. <laughs> we also have the option for sharpening. Let me choose that again. Screen low, matte paper. 
We can choose tiling if we want it tiled. Now, if you want to, you know, print out multiple uh, images and kind of tile them on a wall, you can use that. We also have the uh, gallery. Uh, we also have gallery wrap. Okay. We also have the options to choose what file type we want. Choose JPEG, Photoshop, TIFF, and PNG. Now JPEGs will give you the most compression. PNG is going to give you the best looking file overall. It's totally up to you. Most people are going to choose to export as JPEG. And of course, we can choose our destination. Choose a far, uh, current folder or another folder. And of course, I got my listed is the D desktop photo export. And get the options to overwrite without warning or prevent overwrite. And after export, you can have it show in uh, Windows File Explorer or do nothing. And the last option is you can rename these if you want to put like a serial number at the end. And you can actually add multiple options to that. But once you're done, just go ahead and click export. Okay, final thing I'd like to show you is how you can actually print photos in on one photo raw 2019. Let's choose one of our files here and click file, print, or you can simply use control P. And this will open up the print dialog. Once they've got that open, we have a few options here. We can choose the orientation. We can choose how we want to be printed. We want to you know, fill the entire print area. And we can also choose our color here that we want to use using our printer pro, uh, profile. Now in this option also, if your printer supports larger paper sizes, you should be able to print larger on that as well. And once you get that done, click print. Okay, everyone. Well, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, how about give me a thumbs up? Thumbs up is always highly appreciated. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, go ahead and take the time to subscribe. Subscribing is free. It's for you. and let you know on at least more videos. And if you're interested in On One Photo Raw, do check out the links down in the description below.